Merry Meet YouTube, this is Kiki here, and this is an updated tag on um, the Getting to Know the Witch tag that I did very early on in my channel. This is the second one to that um, tag, so like I said, basically the updated version of it. Um, first question is, with the coming new year, what are some of your goals for, uh, what are some of your goals? Uh, some of my goals are obviously to be a good mother to my soon-to-be-born child in July. <laughs> um, basically, to get a job so we, um, that um, Seb doesn't have to constantly work and feel like he has to pay for everything. I want to start contributing more to basically our growing family. Um, question two. How has your practice grown in the time you you be, uh, began practicing? My practice has grown quite a bit. Um, when I started, it was just very clumsy, very dorky, kind of. Because <laughs> I was still learning. I didn't know what I was doing. And as I read more and started to find myself, it got a lot smoother. I figured out what I was good at and what I wanted to work on. And... It's been a very good experience for me, and basically my practice has grown exponentially since I started practicing. Um, question three. How often do you use divination, tarot cards, runes, etc. in your practice? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, those are actually items that I use nearly daily. <laughs> like... I just got two new pendulums, so I'm constantly using those. I have a new deck. I'm constantly using that because it's my main deck now. I carry it everywhere I go. I'm always playing with it. Runes, I'm always playing with my runes in some form or another. They are always incorporated into my practice whenever I do anything. They are just a simple working. Uh, question four. What kind of witch are you? Do you have... Does your practice have a name for uh, Does your practice have a name for it? Um, I would be considered a a satyr. I am very shamanistic. I'm very much a green. I use herbs a lot. I do a very a lot of the very shamanistic kind of things. I like I said in the Norse pantheon that would I would be considered a satyr. Um. Not as I'm not an oracle. That's very much apparent. I do do some, work, some workings with um, spirits and the other side, but I'm not heavily into that. That's more <laughs> my sister Corey's thing. She's very much into working with spirits more than I am. I work with the more I work with nature spirits. I work with fairies. I work in that kind of area. Um. Yes, my practice does have a name, and it's for for me, and I am a satyr. Um, question five: What is your favorite thing to do in your practice? Everything. I love doing everything. Um, I mean, if it's like something, I do a lot of protection spells, especially right now with just the condition that I'm in. Um, protection spells. Um, I've had to do a reversal, and that I don't like doing them if, unless I have to, and with the situation that had arisen, I had to do it. That's why that candle's there, because there's an issue that came up, and it just had to be done done with completely. Um, yes, I love doing everything in my practice. I just don't like having to do like basically I love doing protection um, incantation statutes and all that kind of stuff because I am a healer and I'm a protector and anything that has to do with any negative energy I don't want ever so if it's kind of just to uh, reversals are like not hard for me but I don't like doing them if I don't have to like I said um, question six. Do you have any magical items? Do you make any, any magical items? Like candles, incenses, etc. Yes, I do. 
I very, very much do. Um, like I said, I, as you all know on my channel, I have my own witchy shop, shop on Facebook right now, and as of right now, I, um, I'll be posting this on the page as well. Kind of like a short semi hiatus on shipping any items. I can't at the moment because just because of the move. I will still do readings and all that kind of stuff. Those will stay open, but like actually physically making like a candle, soap, or incense or anything else that I posted that I will that I make has been put on hold until for until we get to Texas and then I will bring those back. But like I said, the tarot readings and everything are still cope. Um, question seven. How many altars do you have and who are, are they for? I currently have one and it's kind of an amalgamation of everybody. I used to have two. One was for the Morgan and my Norse uh, deities and I had a tiny one for a bust. I did a lot of my um, cat magic there and right now I don't have bus. Um, I don't have her altar anymore. She's my little mini boss is actually in here. And as you saw, I actually got a new one from 13. Thank you. She's so pretty. Um, and, which I will be using and I will probably be gifting my little boss set to one of my sisters. So, and I already have an idea of who it is. Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> Um, question eight. Do you have a book of shadows or a grimoire? Do you have more than one? <laughs> I have, I do have one. And this is for a lot of my Norse workings. And I love this book so much. <laughs> I will actually be doing a video on book of shadows and grimoires. Just explaining them and how I use them. I have a couple of new books that I will be using for grimoire, so that's exciting. Um, let's see. Question nine. Do you, en uh, do you enjoy doing workings with other people or by yourself? I only really do workings with other people if I know them, uh, know them personally, like they're my close friend or family member. Um, but there are times where I do do group things, like at Pagan Pride. That's when I don't mind doing that, but I don't do it constantly. I'm very sol I'm a very solitary witch. Usually the only people I do workings with is Sev or Kore. And um, that's really me. I'm very solitary. I like doing things my by myself, having my only my energy in here, just kind of flowing through and just getting stronger. All right, and number 10, tag 10 people. Alright, here are my 10 people. First off being 13, and of, of, who is of course one of my beloved witchy sisters. And two is Cory Thanatos, who will always be my sister. Love you. Um, the next one is Lady Grave Dancer. Uh, the next one is October Rains Rocks. Um, five, Zoe's Spiritual Path. Six, Renita X. Seven, Faye Black. Eight, Echo Foxpaw. Nine, Spin Pixie. And ten would be Moonstone Dreamer. So I hope all of you enjoyed this tag. I would love to see more people starting to do this tag. And obviously the first one that I did. So... If anyone wants to do it and just let me know in the comment section and post your video if you do do it. I would love to see all of them and hear your answers. So blessed be and I will see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.